everybody. Today I'm really excited to show you something really new and very nice compared to all the other netbooks I have tried so far. This is a new Gateway netbook, LT3103. This netbook is really, really nice. It sports an 11.6 inch screen with a native resolution of 1366 by 768. It definitely looks really bright, very sharp, very good. And it has a battery life for about five hours, so it definitely it works really good. Full size keyboard, it also has two gigs of RAM and a 250 gig drive on board. So definitely this makes a really nice netbook when you're looking at, at uh, value. It goes for about 349 to 379, so you can't beat the price that you get for this machine. One thing I wanted to mention about Windows Vista is that Windows Vista gives it a rating on your machine and this machine has a rating of 2.8 on the hardware so it lets the um, theme the Amero transparency theme from Vista it will let it work here so definitely if you have Windows Vista or 7 you'll be able to see the nice transparency on it and use that on the theme so I highly recommend this netbook it is really nice also it uses a different processor it doesn't use the Intel Atom processor which I don't think it's that good. It uses the uh, AMD processor, and the AMD processor that it has, along with the ATI video card that it has on board, makes this netbook really nice. It works very fast, and I think it's definitely a winner. Uh, check out uh, all the reviews. I'm gonna show you all the stuff in a few minutes, all the ins and out of it, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching. All right, on the screen here, we have an 11.6 ultra bright LED backlit display, which looks excellent, really nice color and everything. And here you have the webcam, which is a 0.3 megapixel webcam. It is not a huge quality, but definitely it'll get you small videos to put on YouTube and stuff like that. On this other side here, you have the microphone. So it's a built-in microphone that you have there. So you don't need to plug in extra um, devices on the outside of it. The actual keyboard is a nice full-size keyboard, so it's great for typing, and especially if you're gonna spend a long time typing on this. On the top here, you have the button to turn it on and off. And on the front here, you have the buttons for the uh, wireless. Uh, it has a little button on the side here that you can use to turn off and on the wireless. The mouse pad has several gestures that you can use. It's when you're viewing a web page or something, you can use this and it'll scroll you up and down and sideways by doing that right here. It has a one bar right here, a nice silver bar that works as a two button mouse, but it's actually a, just a one bar. If you uh, click here, it's to the left and you click here to the right. The mouse pad is not that uncomfortable to use and it's pretty easy if you're gonna do small tasks. Uh, it's easy to use, very comfortable, but if you're gonna actually work for a long period of time, I do recommend to get yourself a small USB mouse, which actually will make it easier for you to actually uh, spend more time on the, with the netbook. On the left hand side of the netbook, you have a 10100 network card right here, along with a built in wireless G card that you can use. And also, you have the power adapter right here, and one USB 2.0 port right here on the side. On the right of the netbook, you actually have here an external display. You can actually connect an external monitor to the netbook. You have two USB 2.0 ports right here. Right here the microphone port and uh, an external speaker port. So if you wanna add external speakers or headphones, you can, and if you wanna use a microphone, you can right here. It also has a five-in-one card reader right here, which will read several cards that you can use, including the SD cards that you can put. So definitely this is a really nice feature that you can use here. Now for the bottom of the machine, I wanna show you the uh, features that it has. Definitely uh, this machine is by far better than the other uh, netbooks I have tried. This particular one here, if you take these screws out, you actually will get access to the hard drive on the machine. So you can take this out right here, and it's three simple screws, the cover will pop out. Let me take this out real quick here. Just pop it out on one side. You might have to make sure you unscrew everything really good. But um, the screws stay on the cover, they're not gonna come out, so you should be okay. Uh, it's a SATA drive, 250 gig SATA drive. Uh, it has two screws here. If you wanted to ever upgrade this or change it, it's really easy. You have uh, two screws right here. You have one right here, and you also have one on this side here, okay? So you remove those two, and now you can actually just move this, slide it over, and take out the drive out of here and slide in a new one that you want to put in here. At the bottom here is the memory of the netbook. All you have to do is open this here. Also take out the screws as well, and you will be able to have access to the memory right here. The memory is a one chip only, okay? It doesn't have, uh, you can't put several chips in here. It's only one chip that it has currently in here, and it's the two gig that you have currently on there. So um, you can't put any more on it, but it's easy to take out. So if you ever have a problem, 
just try to pop this on this side here. So this little leg right here pops out right here on the side and you can take out the ram out of it. So it's really easy to do. This is a simple upgrade. I do like this part of the machine because you can do the upgrade yourself. Uh, very inexpensively and uh, you can actually change anything and make it better if you had to. Uh, so definitely that, that's right there the memory. On this side here you have the wireless network card that's on board and uh, let me show you this one real quick here. This one is the wireless card that's built in and um, why would you have access to this I don't know but uh, definitely it's really cool that you can have access to it maybe you can upgrade in the future the wireless card and make it into an N wireless instead of a G wireless that it comes on board the gateway netbook has two vents here in the front that let out the heat of the machine which is great because some of these vents are usually down here in the middle this actually if you have it sitting on your lap or somewhere else on the table the, vent, the heat comes out through these vents right here the final thing i want to show you is the battery which is the part uh, here at the bottom it has a six cell battery giving you about five hours of battery life and uh, it has a little lock and unlock here when it's red it's unlocked and you can use this other slot right here you just pass this over here and hold it and you can slide the battery out okay the battery does stick out to the back of the unit but I definitely don't have a problem with it it actually turns out to be a good thing and I'll show you in a second how it looks if you're looking at the back of the uh, netbook when you open it the battery does stick out a little bit but it actually gives it extra support so it's not gonna tilt back or anything like that and uh, it's not that bad you actually can grab it through here and it's pretty comfortable so uh, when you close it up and you grab it here it's actually a good way to hold it you know so it definitely gives it extra support it has a, a nice little angle to it so I think the battery is definitely not a problem it just looks like like it's gonna be a problem when you first look at it because it sticks out but uh, it does give you about five hours of battery life so it definitely works really good on the top of the netbook you have a nice glossy finish and it's covered with a plastic when you first get it uh, but you might want to get a skin for this to protect it because this could get scratched up really easy or full of fingerprints. You might want to check out the other um, netbook um, reviews that I have where I have some links there on the website regarding the, um, the actual skins. I will put on the website at rmstech.com some links to skins where you can get for this device. As far as processing power and software, the machine comes with Windows Vista Basic and that's it. It's all included, all pre-installed. There are no disks for drivers or anything. You need to actually go ahead and bring, uh, download the drivers if you had to uh, put drivers in, in this machine, if you had to reinstall it. Um, also, the processing power, this is really good. It does have an AMD Athlon 64-bit processor with a 1.2 gigahertz processing power. What I like about this processor is that it's 64-bit, so you can put Windows uh, Vista 64-bit or Windows 7 64-bit. It also has a, ni a nice ATI video card, which works really good, and it does bring uh, the nice aero thing that Windows Vista has, which is that glassy look, and uh, most likely it'll also work like the same way for Windows 7, and you will be probably able to play some of the older games on this machine. Maybe not the high-end ones, but the older games you'll probably be able to play uh, on this machine because it does have that power. It has two gigs of RAM and 250 gig drive, so definitely this will make a difference in the machine. This is the best by far of all the netbooks I have tried. I just wanted to mention that the netbook itself weighs about 3.4 pounds and the, the um, ultra bright display makes this really, really nice because uh, it definitely looks really good, very impressive. Uh, the, the machine goes for about 349 to 379 so the price is definitely a winner uh, compared to all the other netbooks. Remember to visit aramistech.com where all the links are there for where you can buy the machine and all the technical specs regarding this machine. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it.